Hey guys, Matt here from TechRite Reviews, and today I'm going to be counting down the top 5 photography accessories under $25, and if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely let me know down below in the comments, as if you guys do enjoy it, I am thinking about making some other episodes of this, either with a different price range or just updating this video every few months, but now let's get into the video. Starting off the list at number 1, we have this Pelican SD card case, and this is one of my favorite things I've ever bought for my camera, as I no longer have to fumble through my bag to find an SD card or just have no idea where they are at all. Instead, they're all consolidated into one space, and whenever I need one, I can just open it up, and I know all of my SD cards will be there, and I can always have one ready to go and put into my camera. It holds up to 24 SD cards, 12 of the slots are for standard size SD cards, and then it has 6 for mini and 6 for micro SD cards. And personally, I only have around 6 SD cards that I really use in my camera, so I have developed a system where the SD cards on the right half of the card case are ready to go and have nothing on it, and the ones on the left are the ones that have footage that I have yet to export onto my computer. So that way, I never put an SD card in my camera that's already full, or accidentally delete footage that I haven't yet put on my computer. You can usually pick these up on Amazon for between $15 and $20 depending on which product you get, and if you don't shoot with SD cards and instead are using CF cards, they sell cases for all different kind of cards and you should have no problem finding one within that $25 price range. Next up on my list is this white balance filter that I'm holding right here, and I use this all the time for making my YouTube videos. So instead of having to rely on auto white balance to get it correct and potentially ending up with a bad image, I simply just hold this in front of the camera lens and then it gets the perfect white balance every time. And I prefer this over white balance cards, as with white balance cards, you may have some weird shadows or other weird lighting that may slightly throw it off, but since this is right up against the camera lens, there's really nothing that can go wrong. It's very accurate and it's only $15 at most. It, once again, it's available on Amazon as are all of these products, and there will be a link down below in the description, but I definitely recommend picking one up if you shoot any video or have a YouTube channel yourself. At number 3, we have this Opteka USA camera strap, and I picked it up on BNH Photo's website for around $20, and I found it to be a huge improvement over the camera strap that came with my Nikon D3200. I found that the one that came with my camera it scratched my neck a lot and it slid around and it just made the camera seem really heavy, but this one has a much wider strap so it distributes the weight more evenly, and it has rubber dots scattered throughout it to have prevent the camera from sliding around. Overall, it's a much better experience, the camera seems lighter, and I just enjoyed it a lot more than the strap that came with my camera. At number 4 are these rugged camera bags I got from B&H Photo. I got a pack of two of these for around $6, and they by no means waterproof your camera, but they allowed you to take it in rain that you may not have otherwise gone into. On cheaper DSLRs like the one I have, once again it's the D3200, and for Canon the T3 and 4i, those don't have weather sealing so it's a bad idea to take it out in the rain, unless you have a bag like this which protects it from the elements, and it really doesn't waterproof it so you don't want to be taking it out in super heavy storms. But for a light shower or even some slightly heavier rain, it should do a really good job of keeping your camera dry and allowing you to get some great photos. While those bags will do a decent job of protecting your camera in the rain, if you want something that's a little more heavy duty, I recommend checking out the ProMaster Rain Bag. It's available for around $20 and it just offers a little more protection for your camera in the rain. Finishing off this list at number 5 is the Nikon Wireless Camera Adapter. And this is a great way to add some basic wireless capabilities to your camera. It's not as comprehensive as I'd like, but for only $25, it allows you to pair with an Android app. Unfortunately, there is not an iOS app. But once you plug it into your camera and pair it with the Android app, it allows you to remotely take photos and view photos you've already taken. And then I use it to set focus when I'm shooting a video. Since I don't have a second person to help me set the focus, what I do is I plug this into my camera and then I come over here, sit down, remotely take a picture and I can be assured that it's focused directly on my face. And I don't have to just estimate where the focus is, but I can be sure it's exactly right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up down below. It really helps out and also if you found any other great photography deals, 
leave a link down below in the comments and I may use it in a future episode, or you may have just helped someone find a great photography deal. And as I mentioned earlier, if you want to see it in a different price range, just let me know what range you want to see, once again down below in the comments. But until then, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.